Good morning, class. Today we are going to work on converting a Microsoft document into a PowerPoint document without retyping. So first open up your Microsoft Office, excuse me, Microsoft Office Word. Type in all the information that you need in this document, including your in-text citations and your works cited page. Once you have done that, click on File. Click on Options, click on Quick Access Toolbar, then choose Commands from Field. You want to click on the drop down arrow and click on All Commands. Then you're looking for the icon that says Send to Microsoft PowerPoint. These icons are all in alphabetical order, so just go down to your S's and look for that particular icon. Send to Microsoft PowerPoint. Here we go. So you click on that icon and then you click Add. This adds this icon to your Quick Access Toolbar. Then click on OK. When we go back to our Home tab in Microsoft Word, you can see on your Quick Access Toolbar, you have a new icon that says Send to Microsoft PowerPoint. Now what we want to do is we want to generate the titles that we want in the PowerPoint. So in this particular situation, I want the title, what is a microwave radiation? What is microwave radiation? So I'm highlighting that information. I'm going to my styles group and I'm clicking on heading one. The information right under that, I want to show in my PowerPoint right underneath of the title. So I'm highlighting that information and I'm clicking on heading two. I want my second PowerPoint to say, uh, deaths and microwave radiation. So I'm highlighting that information and I'm clicking in the styles group on heading one. The information right under that title, I'm going to highlight and then I'm going to click in my styles group on heading three. Then I'm going to scroll down by clicking on my keyboard control and page down. It takes me down to my works cited page. I want the works cited page to be the third PowerPoint slide. So I'm highlighting Works Cited and I'm clicking Heading 1. The information right underneath the Works Cited title I'm highlighting and I want this to be right underneath the Works Cited title so I'm clicking on Heading 4. Okay. Now I'm going to scroll back up by clicking on my keyboard control up to go up. And I'm going to also highlight my entire document, Control A, to do that. Okay, I want my document to be Times New Roman 12 point font. You can make your document any font size or any font face you want. I do not want bold, so I'm going to take off my bold and I want all my uh, writing to be in uh, font color black. So I'm going to click on font color black. I'm clicking out in the white area to take off all the highlights and I'm going to click on Send to PowerPoint button in my Quick Access Toolbar. You can see that my PowerPoint has opened and it has generated a PowerPoint slide for me. I'm going to the quick, the, I'm sorry, I'm going to the work cited page because I need to adjust this just a little bit and I'm going to click on all the words in the work cited page. I don't want these bullets so I'm going to highlight all of these words and go to my paragraph group and click on bullets to delete all the bullets. I also want to make sure this is double spaced. So I'm clicking on that little arrow in the paragraph group and I'm making sure all of my lines are double spaced and click OK. I still have to make sure that I have the hanging indent because this is a works cited page in this MLA format. So I'm going to click right next to my second line and tab over one time. It gives me a hanging indent for my first source. The second source, I'm going to click on the second line and tab over one time and that gives me a hanging indent for my second source. I'm going to put a design and you can put any design you want. I just happen to like this green design and you can see you have a PowerPoint slide and you didn't have to retype. You do want to go back in if your works cited uh, title is not centered and go to your home tab and click in the paragraph group on center to center your title. Okay, save your document and you are finished. Have a great day.